Ed Sack update. Check it out. We're on the air. That's what they say. That's what the professionals. Live. The professionals say that we're on the air. The tech update number. We Anybody actually count. know? We've lost count officially, right? Well, 70. We've gotten to the point where we've officially lost count. We're about 70. We're about at 70. What do we do for centennial? That's pretty good. We've averaged more than a uh, more than one a week since we started. That's not bad. Really? To average oh, over because yeah, yeah. what is there? 52 weeks in a year. You're right here. So we're doing okay. Uh, we got a contest. 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 We haven't done one of these in just a little while, and it's back to school time. And the folks at Texas Instruments have given us a an extremely complicated looking calculator. This thing is. Uh... Yeah, the TI Inspire, and I, I remember when I was uh, a senior in high school, I had to get, they, that was one of the things on my supply yeah, list, you had right. to get the TI-85. Right, or the 86. Right, and it was the, probably the biggest waste of money that I've ever spent in my entire life because I never really used it, because I, I never really went to the math class, I got, <laughs> ended up getting a D in it, <laughs> right, but I never, the only thing I ever used it for was um, to play um, the memory game and the snake game, right? That was all. That was all. I, and I use it to cheat on tests every now and then. Because if you're, if you know how to use a TI-85 right, you, you can program it, or you just, you know, the cover, you just slide the answers up there the into, back, the, in, into yeah. the back of the cover, slide it in right. there. Pencil. See, everyone in here is saying, yeah. That. But, uh, but we have a contest to give this away. This is a, this is a, a pricey calculator, okay? Um, I can imagine why. It's, it's like 140 bucks. Free algebra, algebra, geometry, trigonometry, statistics. This can blow your mind. You notice this? This thing has has two keypads, interchangeable. So you take take that thing out. You don't want that keypad. You can take that keypad and you can stick that thing in there instead. The more classic uh, TI uh, whatever. All right. And then I also got all these books to teach you how to use it. This is how complicated. <laughs> this calculator has a book that big. And that's the dummies book. That's not even the book for the smart people. All right. So this uh, can be yours. Whether you're in, uh, you know, junior or senior in high school, or even all through college or grad school, or if you're a physicist, you could probably use one of these. Think we have very many physicists watching on a weekly basis? I think not. What do they got to do? They have to answer a question. A math question. And they have to post it on Twitter. Yes, it it's a math question. Can we see it? Let me just put it this way. I'm looking at it right now, and I don't even know like what it means, right? Take a look at this, all right? You go to com.pewter.tv and you can get all the info on how you enter this, right? But that is the equation that needs to be solved, all right? Factor of n if log 2 parentheses log 3 parentheses log 5 parentheses log 7 parentheses n close parentheses close parentheses close parentheses close parentheses equals 11. And do you know how to figure that out? N equals 2473. You're wrong. I've already been told the, what the answer is, and you're not right. But um, what's that? there's an odd substance on the table here. Am I spitting? Is that what that is? What is that? that looks like what is that right there? Is that my spit or is that your spit? That's Whose spit is that? It has to be mine, right? Yeah, it's coming. Like, see how it's pointing in this direction? All right. So if you want to win this, go to com.pewter.tv, and uh, you're going to have to follow the instructions. You tweet the answer at computer TV. So it's like a race. It's like a race, exactly. So the first person to get this right is going to win. Now, um, I believe that if we have a number of, of correct answers, we may have a, the folks at TI said they'd be happy to hook us up with a few more of these. So, really? Yeah. So, uh, so that's it. Back to school. There's your equation, com.pewter.tv. TV for all the rules and regulations. Go to it, people. All right. Uh, first story of the day. Let's jump right into it. The Zune HD is up for pre-order officially. All right. So um, this is the device that people seem to think is actually cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, from what I hear, it's supposed to be pretty nice. 219 for the 16 gigabyte. It's got that NVIDIA Tegra uh, processor that'll do all the glorious 3D and HD decoding and all that stuff. Of course, news also coming out recently that the new iPhone 3GS can also decode 1080p that video. Was one of my stories, yeah. I'm sorry for trampling on it's your okay. on not, your toes there. Uh, so if you want to order one of these things, pre-order it now. It comes out on September 15th, only so we're almost there. Accepting pre-orders, by the way, too. Why only select cities? Yeah. Why do you have to be in a... Oh, Miami, we're in there. Yeah, all right. Yeah. So uh, good luck to you if you want a uh, Zune HD. I don't think I'm running out to get one, but who knows? There might be people that like this thing. It looks like it might be good. A um, <clears throat> couple interesting stories here for tech. I there's not a lot of tech stuff happening. Mm -hmm. So like I said earlier, I got a bunch of funny videos and oh, good. goofy, stupid stuff. All right. I'm going to get the tech stories out of the way. A uh, new motherboard came out. Uh, it's the Asus Maximus 3 Genie, and uh, you can actually see it right behind me here. I'll make it a little bigger. Does it grant wishes? Uh, 
Does it grant the wish of ultimate overclocking? It, it actually does. it does. grant that wish? That's exactly ah, right. Yeah, all right. Phase power, 4 DDR3 slots, 6 out of 2 ports. Uh, the Stream FX card built in, and it's basically the uh, the micro ATX P55 board uh, for the new Intel P55 chipset. And uh, EVG also today showed like they had like seven new boards, like the uh, the P55 SLI, the P55 SLI LE, the P55 Classified, uh, and like three other boards. Um, also, uh, quick tech news: uh, Clarksdale 32nm uh, CPU that has the integrated graphics processor, and it was tested um, early. Uh, by Tom's Hardware, so if you want to check that out, go type in uh, Clarkdale 32NM into Tom's Hardware. They have full benchmarks. They tell you all about the architecture of it and pretty much are giving you a sneak preview of what you're going to be seeing early 2010 when that comes out. That's going to let you have your CPU and your uh, graphics in the same chip, which I don't really know what the difference is. Between. It makes me very excited. <laughs> it really does. Uh, hey, you know I like the quick live thing, right? Uh, this is. I was playing it last night, actually. Yeah, Quick Live's a lot of fun. Like, it's it just cool because you can just fire it up and play it. And there's a ton of people playing it. Yeah. And now, if you have a Linux box or a Mac box, you can also partake in the action, which is really sweet uh, for everybody that's running Linux or non Windows computers. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, try, I tried it out on this thing, uh -huh. and it's awesome. It worked perfect. It worked great. Sweet. And so you can now fire up pretty, basically on any platform. Other than your iPhone or your Windows mobile phone, uh, you can play uh, Quake Live from wherever you are. And then a quick note, also, um, the big operating system wars of 2009-2010 are getting ready to kick off. It's time, right? Because what's the re official release date for Windows 7? It's like I'm soon, happy. right? <laughs> it's soon, it. September 15th. It's like a couple weeks from now yeah. or something like that. Um, Next week, Snow Leopard is coming out. So for so everyone, no matter whether you're Windows or Mac, you're going to be upgrading over the next couple weeks, and we'll see who wins this battle. It should yeah, kind of exciting. shape up to be a wild one. Uh, take a look at this. Entertainment Weekly is going to start adding video ads to its printed magazines. What you're looking there on the Esquire is their first little digital screen. And it's not only going to be on the cover, it's also going to be inside the ad. Advertisers are going to pay uh, a little bit extra, you know, all. A lot. I well, yeah, I think it costs a fortune, for man. Ad, but um, nine cents per page per copy uh, for full color ad in Entertainment Weekly costs about nine cents. So the print media is desperately fighting the internet and video and all of that stuff, right? They're flailing. Like they're dying, they're right? Flailing. The print media is having a very hard time. This is like right before you so, drown. So, you so, so, isn't it kind of admitting defeat to put a video player on your in your magazine? The only thing that can make it worse is the kind of Wi-Fi. Like, right. I mean, isn't it kind of like, like Wi-Fi? Like to have a video screen, like, doesn't that like, just kind of defeat the whole purpose? I guess it's a good publicity stunt, but yeah, could be. Whatever. Um, this is also a, a cool little. Oh, I just killed it. Damn it. What? It was what, what was it? Anyway, uh, this dude's flying his remote control helicopter, or whatever, and it like runs out of gas and it falls into this lake. But we can't watch it. I, I, well, there's no video of it. It was oh. just a story on Wired and. Uh, Ever, some people saw it happening from far away, and they thought it was a real helicopter. Oh no! So they called like the yeah. police and the fire department, and uh, it turns out. It was Who in here considers themselves a gamer? You do. A couple of these guys back here do. Uh, this guy does. A gamer. So a study came out by the CDC. All right, and this confirms a number of things. All right. First of all, uh, it, surprisingly, guess what the average age of a gamer is. Guess. Uh, well, let's, uh, I guess we don't have to guess, considering they just went ahead and threw it up there. Oh, cool. 35 is apparently the average age of gamers. But what they've also determined when they did this study, uh, uh, this, should, this should be a shock to everybody, okay? Gamers are typically not uh, as healthy as the rest of the people uh, out there. Uh, typically overweight, uh, they have, and they also have a tendency towards mental illness. Mm. Yeah, 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 right, right. They're fat and crazy, essentially, is what they're saying about, about uh, gamers in general. <laughs> I don't think we need a study for that. Can we, uh... Didn't we all, I, I think what we didn't already know, like we already knew that most gamers were going to be a little, a little portly. They don't move, you know. Yeah, and we, and we knew that maybe they tended towards mental illness. Um, is, now, does, does gaming make you crazy, or do crazy people just tend to game? Because like, it allows you to stay in your house, stay occupied, without having to deal with other human beings on a human level. I think it's a combination of both. Do you think, think it actually make you nuts, too? Uh, I think it can. If you're staying away from people and you're not socializing yourself properly, 
You have seen the uh, that World of but Warcraft 30. freak out where the, the kid's mom takes away his World of Warcraft, and he just just flips his shit. Yeah, and we got that screaming, yeah, crying, and makes people nuts, to, man. To sodomize himself that kid, with a shoe. But that, but that kid was already crazy though. So there you go, fat and crazy gamers, um, and also 35. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. 35, I knew that. There's a lot. Of, I have a really? 50 that loves to game. Really? He's the most hardcore gamer that I've ever met. He's like, he's like, he's like 50 or Is something. Is he married? Yeah, he's been married for like 30 years. He's, he's old. He's really old. Okay. And he's really. And he into plays like, video games. And he's all of them. And he's into all of them. He's really good at all of them. It's really scary. All right. Um, did you see this so uh, sonar ruler for the iPhone? I did. It Have you gotten it? Have you played with no, it? No, no. I don't think it's really. I think it's just developer. Oh, okay. Yeah, but anyway, what you're looking at is just the iPhone. I'm not even gonna bother. It, it it acts like like a Bat Boy on Oprah. It works like Bat Boy. You know the kid like that little kid's like. And then, like, and then, like, he's able to like see what's around him with his clicks. Exactly. It's like what this is. It was like a daredevil sort of kind of did that too. Uh, it, basically, it but it just clicks. Here's the echo and tells you the distance away. And ironically enough, when I, I kind of misplaced the article and I wanted to, to put it up, mm -hmm. so I looked up, you know, in Google, you know, that and this article about echolocation and how to. They brought up the article about that kid. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh. How to teach yourself to echolocate in less than two weeks. Less than two weeks. Yes. I'd rather use my eyes. No, 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 no. Echolocation is the bomb. I mean, forget your eyes. Just if you have blind. functional if, eyes. If somebody throws hot tar in your eyes that you can't see and, and you need to know where you're going or something. Don't you want to be like flipper? No. Come on. Dude. No. Uh, Asus E keyboard. Oh, is it not coming out again? Not coming out again. <laughs> like, we saw this for the first time back in CES, which is now almost a year ago. Yeah. Um, back then, they said it would probably be coming out somewhere around the summertime. Now we're looking at October. Is this thing ever going to happen? You think? Because I remember we were here just a couple, just a month or so ago, yeah, talking to a talking to a dude from ASUS, sitting there, and he's like, "We're right there, man. It's about to come out." And I was like, "Oh yeah." I know it didn't come, it's not come out with Ion now, though. That was an, uh, like an upgrade, I guess, they weren't planning on doing. Yeah. And then they end up doing it because they're like, what's the point of having Ion and plugging with HDMI well, if you're not going to so have that? Now you're waiting until October. Do you, uh, do you like um, Futurama? What? Do you like Futurama, the show? That's the Perfect. Simpsons in Space? Yes. Yeah, I haven't seen it. No? Uh-oh. Really? Check out these uh, mini fakes. I couldn't help but just really want to buy all of them. 136 bucks for all 16. Yeah, it sounds like a bargain. Out. Like I said, I don't have any tech news, but those are some really cool... Um, mini figs. Uh, Star Trek fans, new tricorder personal music player. It only costs about $400. But Star Trek fans are idiots. Oh, yeah? You haven't even seen Star Wars. Have yeah, I know, Star but Star Trek, Trek fans, like, buy, but they buy this crap. There are Star Trek. You're, are you, you're going like, to, answer me this, true or false. Uh -huh. A large number of Star Trek fans will buy the tricorder personal media player. True or false? False. Really? Yeah. So Star Trek fans aren't going to buy the tricorder the only personal media player. The people are going to buy are transport Star Trek fans, but there's not going to be a lot of them because it's so expensive. How much is it? It's like almost 400 bucks. They'll buy it yeah. because they're stupid. Here, you'll like this. How about this? This is called the Arkeg. Okay. This is a uh, arcade machine. Plays 16,000 console games. Pretty much emulators for PS, you know, PS1, PS3, all, uh, PS2. All right. Uh, all the old all systems, Neo Geo, Sega Genesis. Ooh, Neo Geo. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, for sure. I remember. A five gallon. I was a video. I was a. I was an arcade rat when I was I a was kid. Too. Yeah, that's a, that's a thing that the kids they nowadays they don't grow up. They, they don't. They don't grow up with Wednesday night ten dollar all you can play night. You know they don't get that Aww. here. No, they anyway, don't get it. I feel bad for you. I do. A five gallon keg in it. Uh huh. You can actually make your own microbrews inside of it if you so desire. It's a brewery in a. It's a, in an arcade cabinet? It's a, it's a kegerator. It's got a fridge in there to keep your beer cold. It's got a tap on the side. Okay. And it's also a computer and it's also a television, all wrapped into one freaking awesome unit. All right. And then you also had the refrigerator, right? Which was, well, no, there, you also had like some kind of crazy ass refrigerator that you were showing me earlier. Oh, yeah. That refrigerator was really cool. Uh, I don't know where. Where, where is it? You're, uh, you're terribly unorganized. I was, I don't have any tech story, so I'm just kind of. Uh, are you serious? Playing by ear today. Oh, you don't even know what you're doing. I don't even know where it's at. All right, I got one more story, and that is that the long-awaited Facebook 3 iPhone application really? is going to be available within the next few days, That's apparently. That's what they said last time. They were like, they didn't know how long it was going to be, and they said it was going to be really soon. It's going to be a few days. A few days. And they're adding all kinds of extra. I, I, it's the application I use more than any other application on my iPhone is mm -hmm. the Facebook app. And yeah, and so I'm actually excited about it, and that's all the news that I have for the week. I'm, I'm done too. Then. Are you sure? 
Yeah, I mean, I was trying to find the refrigerator, but... Uh, I want to see the refrigerator, because it's an awesome fridge. But remember, if you want to win this thing, uh, which is the TI Inspire from Texas Instruments, it's a very expensive calculator. Um, it is... Uh, How expensive, actually? $140. What? Yes. For a calculator? Yes, indeed. Holy... It's got swappable keypads, dog. Oh, man. All right? Oh, wait, I got one more new story. All right. X Marks is available for Google Chrome now. Oh, good. Remember X Marks? No. Syncs all your uh, bookmarks between all your computers. Okay. For, and Firefox. Now right. It's available for Chrome. And there's a new application for Chrome. Good job. Congratulations for getting that out there, guys. Saves your tabs finally. So when you close Chrome, your tabs come back up. There you go. That's the thing that everybody wants. That's Very the missing feature. Very important. All right, cool. So uh, good luck to you on winning this. Remember, this is your, this is your ticket. This is your golden ticket to winning the TI Inspire. All you have to do is answer that question right there and tweet it out. And the first one to get it right is going to, it's not, you're wrong, all right? You're wrong. The TI people told us this is a very difficult question. They said this is very, very difficult stuff right so here. So we're gonna give them a question they need a calculator to figure out, but it's to win the calculator. Exactly. It's like make a souffle, but you're gonna win some eggs when you're done. You leave the comedy to me, sir. All right, we'll see you later on uh, next week for Tech Update. <laughs> see you later.